been uh, we've been here before in the last time. Okay. Wow. Huh? Well, welcome. So, you know, today's a, a great opportunity for you to see the. Uh, what will be, uh, you know, when we open in the spring, it will be the tallest hybrid coaster in North America. It will be the steepest and fastest uh, hybrid coaster in the world. So we're, we're super excited about Iron Gwazi. We're super excited about people coming out to see it. And we appreciate you all coming out to check on our construction today. Do you guys have any? What, uh, what makes it a hybrid coaster? Hybrid part of it, we take a, a traditional wooden coaster and you add steel elements to it, so it's it's both. It's a steel and wooden coaster combined. What percent is it of each? You know, I, I don't know the I don't know the percentage offhand. Um, you know, what we try to do here was take the original Guazi and then we try to save some of the bones of that original coaster. The coaster had been here for years. Yeah. And then we, we just wanted to save some of that and add to it. So I think original uh, Gwazi was a height of around 90 feet or so. This one's 206 feet tall. Um, so it is, I don't know if you've ridden our coasters in our park before, but if you've ridden Shikra, this is a little taller than Shikra. So it is pretty spectacular. And that drop um, is 91 degrees. So it, it actually takes you. Wow. So it's going to be. see the steel and wood combo here. Is yeah. That kind of yeah. explains the hybrid elements that you've what percentage of Gwazi remains, and if you had to throw them around? I know a lot of Gwazi came down and a lot of new structure, but how it much did, of you know, remains? I, I don't know the, the, the actual percent of the original wood, you could say, but you know, there, there's more to Gwazi. I mean, we, I was laughing as I walked in here this morning. I said, oh my gosh, it's looking, we've tried to even this, this uh, you know, Q house area, um, most of this is original, and obviously we, we needed to, you know, give it a little uh, facelift and right. refresh and really um, take it to more of the, the theme that we wanted and that is a, a really powerful animal that we could you know help highlight and benefit kind of benefit because we try to do that with all of our attractions right is is give back somewhere and so um, in this area we'll be benefiting a, a conservation partner that we'll talk more about in the next couple months but one of the animals that will definitely be highlighted is a crocodile and the reason for that is uh, you know, as, as a zoo person the uh, uh, you know when you think about africa you certainly don't I'm sure you're not thinking right now in your head. You're not getting a vision of a crocodile when I mean, you're thinking of African animals. But those are a, a highly endangered animal in Africa. It's crocodile. So we hope to benefit and kind of educate people about the, the plight and concerns we have about crocodiles. And uh, we hope that, you know, when you're leaving Iron Gwazi, not only are you wiping the sweat off your head, you know, being upset about that first drop and all, but you're also thinking a little bit about those conservation causes. So. All right, any other questions down here? Are you guys ready to go in and see the stuff up there? Oh, yeah. All right, perfect. I'm going to take you guys up to the 50 line, and then... Um... All right, good morning. I'm here with Andrew from Bush Gardens as we're here at Iron Gwazi's uh, construction site. Uh, Andrew, give us a little rundown. Uh, tell us all about Iron Gwazi. Yeah, so we're standing here in the station. You can see the Iron Gwazi train loaded onto the track right behind me. These are 24 passenger trains. We've got two of them. So this attraction is North America's tallest and the world's fastest and steepest hybrid coaster. So what that really means is it's 206 feet tall, and feature a 91 degree drop, and it gets up to 76 miles per hour. The ride will be very dynamic. We've got 12 airtime moments and three inversions. And at speeds of 76 miles per hour, it's gonna be really fun. Awesome. Uh, what percentage of the ride is done? So we're probably about 85% done right now. Um, really the majority of the remaining ride is out in the back. You can't really see it from here, okay. but it's just uh, one of the big hills and a couple of uh, the interior pieces of the attraction. Very good. Uh, so tell me about a project like this, uh, removing the Gwazi existing structure and uh, basically converting it to this fantastic hybrid coaster by RMC. Yeah, so I mean, it's a very different attraction having to reutilize an existing space. So, I mean, we tore out all the original attraction that was here. We kept all the foundations. We reutilized a little bit of the structure that was out there as well. So having to redesign everything around that was very interesting and challenging. Uh, but as you can see, we've got it all in here. We've, we've sorted it all out and, and designed it appropriately. Very good. And from start to finish, how long is this project uh, gonna take? So from the time that you determined or when did you determine that, okay, we're gonna go ahead and take Gwazi and turn it into this to uh, anticipated opening. So it's probably been about two years working okay. on this. Yeah. All right, very good. And no opening date set quite yet. We've got spring of opening right now. All right, very good. Yep. 
All right, thanks, Ray. Spring of this year, opening targeted, which is good for Iron Gwazi. Hi, everyone. My name is Jim. I'm taking over uh, just for some speech overlay on some of the video and then pictures that Ray provided for this Iron Gwazi hard hat update. Uh, so real quick here, we see the uh, workers doing some steel work, some bolting on the RMC track into that wood structure. Um, as we heard from the interviews, lots of wood structure taken down. Uh, for the new build of Iron Gwazi. So it's good to see the station and everything kind of changed over. Uh, as we jump to this next clip, uh, Ray does a good job of taking shots, uh, sl some nice slower shots, so we can really see some of the details here. Um, you can see the Iron Gwazi train on the track here at Bush Gardens. Uh, again, Iron Gwazi is coming along really well. We got a lots of track work in place. I think they're still placing more pieces. Um, but we can see here, as Ray pans over, we can see a few of those awesome elements that RMC is known for. There's a twist right there, and just several, several things to take in on that. So, again, Iron Quasi is going to be the tallest hybrid in North America, and I believe it's going to be the steepest and fastest in the world. So... Uh, just beating out Steel Vengeance, we'll have to ride and see, uh, in our opinions, everybody's opinions are different, if it is better than Steel Vengeance, which is my current favorite. A uh, quick little clip here. This is the Q area, uh, kind of repainted and revitalized. Really nice to see uh, Bush Gardens putting some time and effort into making that look nice. And there's a still shot of kind of the same pan we just had uh, for Iron Gwazi's new Q. And I love the purple and green colors. Just wonderful there. Um, we're just getting into some still pictures here as we wrap up. I hope you've enjoyed the update. So here's a picture of the train for Iron Gwazi. Uh, lead car there is a crocodile or alligator. Not sure which one. Um, good picture here of the lift and kind of a overbank element right there next to the station. Really cool to see. We did see Bush Garden share the video of that being topped off. Uh, there's a like a, a high twist as we see uh, Iron Quasi through there, as well as going into that kind of another twist, looks like right there. Um, tons of stuff to see there. And then Ray took uh, a ride on the Sky Ride and got a couple distance shots. And this thing is just massive for the Bush Garden skyline. It is slightly taller than Shikra in the park. So, by a couple feet or a foot, I think. So, it will be the tallest coaster in the park, which is pretty cool to see. And there's another distance shot from the Sky Ride. I want to take this opportunity again to thank Bush Gardens a lot for having us out. It's great to have social media teams that do appreciate the work we do and uh, the fact that we love to cover projects like this as they are under construction. And I want to give a huge shout out to Ray for covering all the events, looking good in his hard hat there. Uh, Ray's been in the industry longer than I have, uh, so it's great to have him as a friend first and foremost and then as a correspondent for us here at Wild Gravity Travels. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.